These are things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. First, we have this safe disguised as a book. It just looks like a normal book, but you can open it up and keep a couple valuables inside. If you don't know your roommate that well, they might have friends over, your RA can get into your dorm room. Don't bring too many valuable things to college, but if you have a Swarovski bracelet that your mom gave you before she disappeared in a hot air balloon, it's a good idea to keep it safe. Next up, we have earplugs. Nothing is worse than when your roommate has an 8 a.m. and you don't have class until 11 because that will be the loudest person that you've ever met in your life. They'll be trying to be quiet and then all of a sudden you hear making a smoothie. You're like, when did we even get a blender? They're like, sorry. I just can't do my 8 a.m. without this smoothie in the morning. Oh my god, it's horrible. I've heard good things about these loop ones. I've never personally used them, but definitely bring some earplugs. Finally, we have these food hugger silicone lids. You can have a lot of space for Tupperware in your dorm, so basically these can fit over any bowl or cup that you're using and seal it off so you can save it for later. So much better than eating out of a bowl and then putting that into a Tupperware container, putting it in the fridge, washing that. No, no, no. Just put this right over top, put it in the fridge, you're good to go. These are things that every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part two. First, we have these handheld vacuums. We're gonna be in a 12 by 12 room. If you're lucky, you do not need an entire $400 Dyson vacuum. Just spend a couple bucks on one of these, clean up the dust bunnies in the corner and the crumbs on your bed from that Oreo package that you ate during midterms week because midterms are tough, no judgment. Next up, we have these bunk bed shelves. Two people off their bed, you put it like 12 feet in the air, you put your desk underneath, you save a lot of space in your room, it's great, but nothing is worse than when you have your phone next to you while you're sleeping and then all of a sudden you roll over and it falls 12 feet onto the hard concrete and shatters into a million pieces and you can't get to Apple Care without Ubering and Ubering is expensive and it's just a nightmare. So just get one of these shelves, it'll save your life. Finally, we have these fans. I'll just never want to put these on the packing list because they don't want to admit that they don't have like great AC in the dorms. But if you like sleeping like frozen, like a little polar bear, I definitely recommend getting one of these. And it's some nice ambient noise too. These are things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part four. First up, we have these laundry bag backpacks. Sometimes a laundry room is not near your dorm at all, or it's even in a different building. And a week's worth of laundry together is surprisingly heavy. So unless you want to do deadlifts the whole way there, I definitely recommend getting one of these backpacks. Also those mesh bags, a regular laundry basket, see-through. Do you really want half of campus seeing the special skivvies that you wore for Bryce, the pre-med major on your coffee date, that he broke your heart after by blocking you on Snapchat? I don't think so. Get one of these. Except we have these little step stools. Your room is not very big. You're going to want to hang things up or even stack things so everything will fit. And do not try to climb up on that wardrobe to get that pack of Oreos that you put on top because it's very flimsy and it'll fall on you. It'll be very embarrassing, but I wouldn't know. Finally, we have a mattress topper. Twin XL mattresses they supply you with are so uncomfortable. They might as well be stuffed with hay. I'm pretty sure cows in a barn sleep more comfortably. I know people that would sleep on the floor because they said that was more comfortable. So if you're a princess and the pea sleeper like me, you need a mattress topper. It'll change your life. You need your beauty rest. These are things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part five. First up, we have a floor lamp. Don't the dorm rooms come with lights? Yeah, disgusting fluorescent lights. You know, it's not a very comfortable studying environment. The same lighting as a hospital waiting room. Ugh. I really like these because they're not too expensive and they come with shelves. Some of them even have USB ports. The future is now. Next up, we have a mini umbrella. It's gonna be a time where there's like a torrential downpour outside and you're like, oh shoot, I have to walk half a mile to class through this and I don't have an umbrella. And then you're gonna get to your macroeconomics class soaking wet, shivering like a dog in the 68 degree air conditioning, forming a visible puddle underneath you and it's gonna be very embarrassing. I wouldn't know, but I've heard. Then we have a little toolbox. I wanna make friends in college bring a toolbox because you have no idea how many times things are going to break and no one's going to know what to do and you're going to be the hero because you have a toolbox. Oh, the zipper on my backpack broke. Does anyone have pliers? Oh, I fell 12 feet off my lofted bed last night and I need to install a railing. Can anybody help me with a screwdriver? You can. You have a toolbox. These are things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part six. First up, we have an area rug. Most dorms have concrete floors. It's very hospital-like and a rug just makes it all a lot more cozy. Also, there's only two places to sit in your dorm, your bed and your roommate's bed. And when you have everybody over to watch The Bachelor on Wednesday night, everyone's just going to end up sitting on the rug. It's just how it happens. Next up, we have wrinkle release. You do not have space for an iron. You do not have time for a steamer. This is a miracle liquid. Braden from Alpha Sigma Sigma comes over with a wrinkled up shirt and tie for your sorority formal like he just unfolded origami. Spritz, spritz, fashion faux pas, averted. It does not work on your face though, not that I tried it. Finally, we have a power strip. There are like two outlets per dormant. It's going to be like the Battle of Potter Hall 105 fighting with your roommate over them. So just get some power strips and extension cord the house down boots. Seriously, you're paying way too much to live in a 12 by 12 box and electricity is included. Charge everything. Charge your grandma's heart monitor. Charge your dad's Tesla. These are things that every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part seven. First up, we have one of these storage ottomans. There's not a lot of seating in your dorm. There's not a lot of storage in your dorm. Boom, you just killed two birds with one stone and they're only like 25 bucks at Target. And they even triple as a step stool when you need to reach the ceiling on week two because you have the incredibly unique idea to hang up string lights in your dorm. You're gonna want this. Except we have plastic cutlery. I know, but you're not gonna have access to a dishwasher. You're not gonna have access to a kitchen sink and you do not wanna be scrubbing the easy Mac goop off of your silver in your shared bathroom. This is just the easiest way to do it. And finally, we have these handheld plungers. These are great if you clog your hand sink with hair or toothpaste because good luck getting maintenance to come out for a non-emergency this semester. Or they do work on toilets too if you're the culprit of that situation and you're trying to sneak out unseen because no one is a better CIA investigator than a mildly inconvenient sorority girl.
things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part 8. First we have a pool noodle. There is nothing worse than when you're laying in your bed and your phone falls between your bed and the wall and you have to be like a claw machine trying to like reach down and get it. So put a pool noodle between your bed and the wall and that'll never happen again. Next we have food that only requires water in a microwave to make, but don't be like me and forget to add the water or you just might be that kid who catches your door and microwave on fire. Finally, the backrest pillows. Those chairs they give you for your desk are worse than sitting on a slab of concrete. So you're going to do a lot of your homework either sitting on your rug or sitting in your bed and you're going to need one of these to save your back. Otherwise, it's going to hurt worse than Joe Jonas carrying the Jonas Brothers for five years. Things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part 9. First up, we have an electric tea kettle. I'll just use my microwave to heat up water. Uh, no, are you kidding me? Are you still using a spear to hunt for your food? This is $20 and makes everything a luxury experience. The tea is the perfect temperature. The instant coffee is the perfect temperature. That crusty dusty 2 a.m. ramen just became gourmet. Oh, my neck hurts. Oh, just put some hot water on a towel. All of a sudden, you just had a spa experience. Except we have allergy medicine. But I don't have allergies. Oh, you grew up in a dry climate. Now you're going to school in Pennsylvania. Welcome to the War of 1812 on your sinuses. Because pollen is going to be Trojan horse on up in there and it is there to stay the first time you have one of those sleepless nights because of allergies you'll be so grateful that you brought this finally we have a lap desk i think we give you a desk but those chairs are so uncomfortable you're gonna end up doing 90 percent of your assignments in your bed unless you want to be hunched over your laptop twisting your back worse than a garlic knot definitely get one of these they're great the things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list part 10 first we have a sink filtration attachment most dorm rooms come with a sink inside and that's where you get the majority of your drinking water the tap kind of tastes like h2o with undertones of pipe and dirt so get one of these it's an easy attachment it's a couple bucks and it'll make the drinking experience experience a lot better. It's really the little luxuries. Next up, we have this crumb vacuum. Listen, it's 2 a.m. You're hunched over your desk. You just found out that you have a research paper due tomorrow. Oops, now you're only staying alive because of espresso in a Nature Valley bar that you found in the vending machine. You're going to make a lot of crumbs on your desk. Use this, clean it up. Zzz, it's actually really easy and kind of fun. You don't want to leave it overnight. A lot of dorm buildings are really old and you don't want to wake up to seeing Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nam on your desk. Finally, we have this wash and stain bar. Listen, your clothes are going to be playing a game of stain mine. Sweeper in college, Brad from Alpha Sigma Sigma is fist bumping a little too hard and spills some red Cabernet grape juice all over your favorite sweatshirt. All is lost. No, no, no. Just rub a little bit of this on it, throw it in the wash, good as new. Things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part 11. First up, we have push pins. If you want to hang up posters or a tapestry in your dorm, don't use the 3M strips. They will rip all the paint off your wall like a Brazilian wax, but it's twice as painful because you'll watch your bank account get drained as they charge you for all of the repainting. Just use a little push pin. It'll make a tiny hole in the wall. At the end of the year, you can cover it up with some bar soap. It'll look good as new. Next up, we have rain boots. But I never needed rain boots in high school. Yeah, because you were only walking 10 feet between your bus and the building. In college, you're going to be walking half a mile between classes in a torrential downpour. It's not romantic and fun like singing in the rain. There's no choreography. It's just wet and moldy your nike shoes are not gonna hold up and they're gonna stink Ugh. and finally we have a wall plug-in i don't care how clean you think you are you're living in a 12 by 12 box with another person there's gonna be some funky smells oh your roommate's old musty gym shoes stinking up the corner over there oh you want to go on a midnight mcdonald's run oh we're gonna get mcflurries oh my stomach doesn't do too well with dairy now you're emitting more gas all night than a diesel engine ew just plug one of these in the wall all of a sudden you're transported to a pine forest how did that happen it's a life -saving. Two things every student should bring to college that you won't find on the packing list. Part 12. First, we have a formal outfit. A lot of students forget about this because they plan to have the aesthetic of like a sewer rat wearing sweatpants for class every day, which I totally get. But if you can invite it to a last minute Greek formal or if you have an interview for a second semester internship, you're going to want to look good and the marinara stained cookie monster pajama pants aren't going to cut it. And a last minute formal outfit at the mall is a lot on a college budget. So definitely pack this. Next up, we have a stapler. I know this sounds obvious, but hear me out. College professors do not have staplers. And the amount of people that I know that just folded the corner of their 15 page research paper to hold it together and turn it in is insane you don't want to spend all night on something like that and then lose a point because one of the pages went flying because you didn't have a stapler embarrassing and finally we have a sleeping bag if you have a friend visiting from another school they're not going to be booking a room at hilton garden and that's expensive they're going to be sleeping in your dorm room and you cannot fit two people in a twin xl bed many have tried no one succeeded they're going to be sleeping on the floor so make it a little bit more comfortable get the barbie fairy tale sleeping bag that you used in the eighth grade they're going to be very happy